All the ways to Migos and Impossible Migos, my name is Taffer16, welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my second reaction to Nevermind the Buzzcock. So, if you didn't know I did a previous reaction list, you're forgiven, because it was a long time ago, November 6, 2019. It was also, like, the one episode of this show that's not blocked on YouTube, so this will more than likely be on Daily Motion. This is a Channel Points request, also by Stale. Uh, thank you, Stale, for using your points on us, and Stale requested a certain episode, uh, Series 20, Episode 3. So let's go ahead and watch it. All right, it's about 30 minutes. Well, Ale. tonight is a very special show. I don't want to give away the big surprise yet, but on Bill's team this evening, we have a certain international megastar in our presence, a former Australian soap star and now a stunning showgirl. We're spinning around with excitement, really. I can't get her out of my head. <laughs> Who's it going to be? You'll have to wait to find out. Damn it. Bill's first guest is ordinary boy and professional celebrity. It's Preston. I love appeared on Celebrity Big Brother and then married the winner, Chantel. Preston oh. was worried it would alienate hardcore Ordinary Boys fans, but luckily, neither of them were in the country. <laughs> or existed. <laughs> Damn. Oh, he's not <laughs> amused. I'll continue. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Phil second guess hey, he's not amused. He's not amused. And one of those Irish-style comedians is Ed Byrne. Hey! Ed appeared on Blind Date before becoming a comedian. I haven't seen him in a bit. On a game show to get on TV and find a wife. Imagine the desperation, Preston. <laughs> <laughs> Ed and Preston, Phil's team, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Phil's first guest is Gillamot's lead singer and lovely man, Fife Dangerfield. Oh, Gillamots often start their show by running through the audience screaming and banging biscuit tins, which is nearly as annoying an opening as hearing the words, Hello, I'm Katie Mellywer. <laughs> and here she is, Bill's second guest. Mm. It's only Anne Madge from Neighbours Charles Show. <laughs> In 2005, Anne had cosmetic surgery on her neck on Vanessa Feltz's show, Cosmetic Surgery Live. People with scalpels in the same room as Vanessa, and they slit your neck. Oof. <laughs> Right, I love Bill Bailey. Phil Preston Ned, here are yours. I take you to the candy shop. Oh shit. I let you lick the knowledge top. He's so cool. He's got all the women, the cars, the fur, the jewellery, and his own clothing brand. Man, I wish I was a cliche ridden tit. <laughs> it's 50 cent. Bounces, bounces. Oh shit. And he's been accused of rape, assault, possession of drugs and firearms, making underage porn and manslaughter. Come on, he looks like a cute little dog. I don't think half of that is true. Doggy dog. Doggy grit like ass. I love that you call him Snoop Doggy Dog. It's Snoop Dog. Getting the advice from the middle-aged man with a hoodie. <laughs> the only person who calls him Snoop Doggy Dog is his mother, and even then only when he's in trouble. <laughs> Snoop Doggy Dog! Clean these hoes out of your bedroom. <laughs> so that was 50 Cent with Candy Shop and Snoop Dogg with From the Church to Da Palace. But what connects the two? There's some laughter there because I'm saying Da Palace. <laughs> it's terribly in vogue to say dirt now after, after Dick and Dom in Da Bungalow and um, mm, Da yes. Vinci Code. Is that one? <laughs> <laughs> so what connects the two? That is the question. What connects the two? Yes. What doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> Prosperous, black rappers, drugs, firearms... Um, yeah. You're quite right. There are a lot of things that connect them. Really, the game should be called, What is written on my piece what, of paper? What a... <laughs> That's much fairer. Preston, any ideas? Um, what? not really. I'm just still a bit upset about what you said at me at the beginning. Someone talking to <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know you, you know, you can't go on Big Brother and get away with it. Well, that's basically... <laughs> <it. laughs> There's an odd image from 50 cents here. Has he got soup tattooed on his back? No. Maybe 50 cent just really bloody loves soup. But 
today, I tell you what, in this next one, not as much as he loves eggs. Look at this. Come on. <laughs> That's actually a speech bubble, but she's got nothing to say. <laughs> Preston, I'm sorry if you were offended before. I've been listening to your album. I'm, it's very impressive. Good, thank you. Old tracks written by Preston? Except two, three, four, <laughs> six, seven, I still write them. I just wrote them with my guitarist. And... Sure, sure you did. Nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, thirteen and fifteen. <laughs> sorry, and I, I like it, though. Good. <laughs> We're going to have fun tonight, Preston. Oh, we? Good. So let me know when it fun. starts. <laughs> oh, got him. Let's got him. <laughs> Any ideas? Any uh, ideas what the, ideas. the link with them could be? It's something to do with cars. Hang on, there's a, there's a picture at the end here hmm. of, of uh, Snoop's car. Has he got a really fat mum he's taking to the shop? <laughs> and she sat in the back on the left-hand side. Mama, I told you to sit in the middle. Um, why don't you tell us the one of many things they've got in common that you happen to have written down on that piece of paper? <laughs> you, you won't get a point. <laughs> Take your point, Pass it shove over. it up your ass. <laughs> right, I'm going to tell you what the answer is. They've both got three nipples. Right. <laughs> no. I'll tell you what, whatever well, it is, better be fucking interesting. <laughs> Right. 50 Cent and Snoop Dogg have both sued the same car dealership for infringement of their images. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was so obvious, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, what was this? <laughs> Next time I'm feeling like I can't sleep, could you phone me up and tell me? <laughs> I will phone you on my mobily. <laughs> Fifty Cent is suing Philadelphia car dealer Gary Barbera for one million dollars, while Snoop is suing him for two million dollars for using his image in the phrase "Is Barbizzle the shizzle, boy? I get izzle." <laughs> he then went on to sue B and Q for selling chisels. <laughs> right, Bill, Ann, and Fife. These are for you. Oh Lord! Hello. I know you, right? I knew that fame-hungry parasite trying to live off the success of the talented Britney Spears' vagina. <laughs> You make me sick. Why don't you get your own career? It's Britney Spears. That wasn't her best song, I'm gonna be honest. And formerly the credible voice of alienated youth, now just a hollow and overexposed supergroup. There's a lesson for you there, Britney Spears vagina. Don't get too cocky. It's Green Day. That was Green Day with Basket Case and Britney Spears with Do Something, but what connects the two? Uh, they all go to the same church. Oh. Britney Spears is an anagram of Presbyterian. Is it? Yep. Is it? If you've got time to work it out, <laughs> take my word for it. Oh, I'd be rubbish on cat. I hate that. Hello, girl. What have you got? Dog. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> is it lovely to have Anne on the show? Thank you very much. Looking lovely? Thank you. Good neck? You look pretty damn good yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was only about seven when Neighbours started. Yeah. I used to be quite scared of you with your, your growly voice and your big orange hair. <laughs> I used to think you were a monster. That was pretty frightening. Yeah, but you're not... You're well, not. she was. But you're not. Yeah. Not really. Um, <laughs> not yet. On, Brittany let's have a look, look at Brittany's um, un state of undressed. And I, I think what's happened is she said, I'm only going to do this shot if I wear a coat. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I feel reluctant to say anything about Britney, because this show doesn't go out for a couple of weeks, and her story in the tabloids changes so often. I feel oh. maybe we should cover ourselves. If only I you can't know. believe that picture of her with a cake up her bottom. <laughs> blimey. Sure. Blimey. I bet we not do something about Britney and that rare bird thing. <laughs> Unbelievably, she's the new voice of Carphone Warehouse. I... <laughs> She's got her life back together and is now recording a new album. Well, just in case, is that? Uh, uh, Anne, Anne any know. idea what any connects ideas. the two? Is it possible that both videos were filmed in the same set? No. Redecorated. <laughs> but I did enjoy your lovely gravelly voice there. <laughs> That's, uh, um, you know, it's the lava lava. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> 
ringtone. Oh. I believe it. Um, Fife, your band is uh, famous for using odd... In I say famous. Uh, no... <laughs> <laughs> is uh, known in the, in the industry for using odd instruments. You use typewriters, that sort of thing. Yeah, That's now and then. Haven't you got a member of your band, Arista Zabel? What does she play? The, the double bass. The double bass. Oh, that's quite normal. It's... I read in your bump that she found the perfect uh, bass note to give a lady an orgasm. Well, she says, but she won't tell us what it is. Damn it. I reckon Which is it's selfish, I think. You know, That's like true. That. Right. I think it's an F-sharp, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try and find out. Hang on, hang on. No, it's not working. Uh, <laughs> nothing? No, but that was an E. Uh, so, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no. I never dreamed <laughs> I'd be on television trying to give Imagine Orgasm. <laughs> What connects the two? I must have an oh. answer. I simply must. I think Phil Spector's both tried to kill both of them. He's Something incorrect. Like I can see it. The answer is, Britney Spears and Green Day have both angered the little people community. Mm. In 2001, a song called Great Australian Midget Toss by Green Day's bassist Mike Durnt upset an organisation called the Little People of America after it was used at a basketball game. Whilst in 2006, Britney booked what? four dwarves to perform at Kevin Fedline's birthday party. Two small ladies struggled to deliver his enormous birthday cake and the miniature Sonny and Cher performed I Got You, Babe. Britney defended herself by saying she's always been a big fan of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. <laughs> Well, fair enough. For my birthday, I exploited some black people, but then I've always been a big fan of racism. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up is the intros round. Phil I gotta Preston, be honest, I don't remember this guy's name. Thank you. But he's luck, kind of a massive fucking um, tool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four. He just kind of rubs me the wrong way. I can't explain it. He just comes off as a massive tool. Is it, is it VG's Night Fever? Is correct. Yes. Nice. That helped. That did help. That was a clue, though. That was a big clue. Is that, is that cheating that he did that? Did you do that? What? Did Gandalf just grasp me up? Hmm. <laughs> it is a bit Lord of the Rings over there, isn't it? So, so who's Anne, then? What? Who's Anne? I don't belong in Lord of the Rings, no. Stop upsetting <laughs> Anne. I've already failed to give her an orgasm. <laughs> Try again. Have another go. There you go. <laughs> wow. Is that how it happens? We did that time. God. <laughs> Phil's got a synthesizer at home, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I guess we should do another little song. Okay, uh, uh, one, two, three, four. It's gorillas. It's it's either it's, I can never it's either Clint Eastwood or Dirty Harry. It's one or the other. You're gonna have to go with one. Think what will it be, Ed? Do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> I think it's Dirty Harry. It's Dirty Harry. Is That's correct. Am I allowed to say that? I suppose Sorry, you okay. just I'll did. <laughs> I don't remember how Dirty Harry went, but I'm like, it's not Clint Eastwood. Because I remember how Clint Eastwood did. Good, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> the Paris Hilton work was a low point for me. It wasn't what I wanted to be doing. And on top of that, it caused me some real problems with my hair. <laughs> what? It's a good... Haven't you read it? I don't want to spoil the ending for you. <laughs> I think I remember where this is going. I think the I saw this on like was Charlie Brooker or something. Mail, which made me feel really posh and upmarket. A while ago. Oh, you <laughs> like, oh, what? Oh, no, Preston, yeah, no, I remember. Yeah, he walks off. Preston, we're having fun. We're having fun. Right. Come on, Preston. I think Preston overreacted, oh, no, but Preston. seeing this in context <laughs> is interesting. Not, he's been voted out. Because oh. the host, I don't remember his name, but he's like a massive tool. Like, I we get it more in context. I only read his wife's book. 
<laughs> What's wrong with that? I can't believe that upset him. I mean, I don't know if he's read. I read the whole thing. It upset me. <laughs> I, I get it more in context. This guy is a massive a bit like tool. like Preston in the audience? <laughs> Now that's audience participation. Same haircut. Perfect. Look a bit surly, and every time he goes there, it's out of order. So... <laughs> you chose a really pretty one. He looks great. Welcome <laughs> <laughs> to show business. <laughs> what is your name? Ed. Hello, Preston. Oh, no, hang on. <laughs> we can't have two Eds. It's all right, we've got one Ed, one Phil, one Preston. <laughs> what do you do in your real life? Um, a well driller. A well driller? Drill boreholes. Water wells or oil wells? Neither. Ah. <laughs> what what is the kind of wells are there? It's a lemonade well. <laughs> You're smiling as we make fun of you. You're already being a very bad Preston. <laughs> Didn't even finish the quote from the book. <laughs> so out of order. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Shall we just carry on as if everything's normal, shall we? <laughs> OK. Right, Bill and Fife, here are yours for Anne Charleston. Oh, yes. shit. Have a nice time, man. Here we go. I'll, I'll try. Yeah? All right. Ready? You ready? You ready? Yeah. OK, go then. I don't know if it does that bit. Fine, fine. Do you find it difficult to perform without office equipment? Yes. Do you want a hole punch? Yes. There you go. Three. One, two, three, four. Hang on, sorry, I didn't think that through. Sorry, yeah. A silent hole punch. Have a desk tidy. Nah. Post it notes? Oh, no. No, he's gone too. Lucky I didn't get to the leave Raj file. <laughs> oh, OK, go on, sing and do the answer, then we'll get back to normality. Oh, God, I don't know. Mozart's Requiem for... What? God. Yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, well, I don't know. It's incorrect. It's I'm good, gonna, a good an answer as any. I'm going to pass it over. Preston, any idea? <laughs> I ain't got a clue. How weird is this for you? Weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was Copacabana by Barry Manilow. Here's how it should have sounded. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, not, there's not so much of that, though, is it? <laughs> Maybe there is. <laughs> it's the second thing I've recorded today with Barry Manilow in it. How about that? I think it's a shame you're so inhibited. <laughs> and what about this one? There you go. Oh, she's gone too. <laughs> We've all, I've also got the, the sad theme for when somebody dies after if they roll the credits and they can't put the. It's too cheery. Oh, it's the same I've tune. Got the... <laughs> ah. Okay. Okay, carry on. See if okay. I do better so, with this so, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Ding, 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 it was Somewhere Only We Know by Keen. Here's how it should have sounded. 
wasn't quite as scary as that, though, was it? Uh, no, it was a little scary, yeah. Keen's Tom Chaplin Press like terrified. drug addiction. I think of the experience as like walking to the end of a cliff and looking into the abyss. You can either turn around and walk back or jump off. <laughs> <laughs> we also heard Copacabana by Barry Manilow. In 1996, Barry Manilow was involved in a near-fatal car crash in which his face really? was badly disfigured. News reports at the time stated, he can't smile, he can't sing, he's finding it hard to do anything. <laughs> and if you'd like to write jokes for the show, all you need is a crayon. <laughs> I believe you. Round three is the welcome return of Big Eater Smalls. Here the teams are given a lineup of famous people and have to put them in a specific order based on the category of our choice. Phil, Preston and Ed, here's yours. Is that David Bowie? Right, I would like you to put them in order of biggest to smallest personal fortune sure is. from left to right. Before you guess, who do you think they are, first of all? Uh, it's David Bowie on the end. There. Correct. Uh, and then uh, closest to us here, uh, is that Miss Spears? Is it's that Brittany? not, it's not. The dress may be a clue. Barbie. No. <laughs> Ashley Simpson. Oh, uh, Emma Bunton. Correct. Emma Bunton. There we go. Right. Like the version of Downtown by Emma Bunton. She really took that song and made it her own, didn't she? <laughs> So, uh, in the blue jacket, Barbara Dixon. Uh, no. I'm joshing. Keith, Keith Richards. Oh, is. yeah. And one more. Chantel. It's not Chantel, it's Paris oh, Hilton. Oh, Paris. Ah. Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. Can we give the Paris Hilton look like something to suck on, just so she looks more convincing? <laughs> I've got a desk tidy. Close enough. Preston. You're having fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you here with? Have you got mates here? With my wife, a sister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a fiance. Oh man, oh man. When this is on telly, you're going to get Your wife's fiance? In front of the... Look at you, don't you look great? <laughs> <laughs> look at you on the telly, Ed, you look lovely. <laughs> you want to give out that drill and get on the box. Tell you what, <laughs> he's going to end up presenting DIY at the <laughs> <isn't he? laughs> Really, as a member of public, you should get like a cash prize tonight. It's only celebrities who really are allowed to walk away with nothing or something for a charity. So really, we should be paying for money here. We should be paying for money or some sort of caravan. What would you like? <laughs> Ask me wife. Is that your wife? She's got a very... No, no, no. <laughs> never met anyone from the public before. Very exciting. <laughs> so, who has got the most money? Is essentially oh. what we're asking. Right. I think Keith's richest. Yeah. Yeah. So, could Keith swap with Emma Bunton, please? Could you swap round? Then, could Bowie, yeah. David Bowie, swap with Emma Bunton, please? Yes. I reckon, uh, I reckon that's the order, because I think Paris stands to be incredibly rich in the future, but at the minute, hasn't got all that much. All right, let's see if you're right with the order uh. that you have suggested. Uh, can the lineup please put themselves in the correct order? I think you're right. Oh, nice. Paris Hilton's fortune is estimated at £8 million. Emma Bunton's £10 million. David Bowie is worth £120 million. But the wow. top earner is Keith Richards with £180 million. And that's not including all the trinkets and treasures he's got buried under the island. <laughs> Thank I wonder you how very much, much Paris is worth capitalists. Goodbye. <laughs> right, Bill Five Man, here are yours. There's Ozzy. <laughs> so, yeah, so who, uh, oh. not who, how many, not that, not that either. Uh, You've fallen to bits since you lost Preston. I'm re I, it's really affected me. <laughs> In my life, that's never happened. And I've really been quite rude to not You made Britney cry, didn't you? Yeah, but she walked out. Oh, she walked out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, your category is number of children. Mm -hmm. And again, I'd like you to arrange mm. them from most to least, left to right. First, who have you got there? Well, I, I, well Rod, I think, obviously. Rod Stewart, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm guessing Solomon Burke. Solomon Burke is great. And, uh, and then <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing, well, who do you, well? Well, I think it's Aussie. Yes. And Whitney. And Whitney, Troubled Whitney. Is correct. Troubled Whitney, yeah. Troubled Whitney. So. Aussie's got 
Is it three children? There was one that... Yeah, there was one that, three, that yeah. didn't uh, appear in shy the child. show. Yeah, so I think Whitney's only got one, hasn't she? I don't know. Um, you might what, be right. What I'm sure is, is, I think yeah, you're right, I am. got mm. a few uh, dotted around. Yeah. Who knows how many kids Rod has? Rod. So we put, we put Solomon, Solomon up the furthest on the left. And down that end. Down the end. Yeah. Then, <laughs> then Rod. Then, then Rod. Then Ozzy. Then, Ozzy. then Whitney. I reckon and that's Whitney it. So let's go with that. In the you order of right. fecundity. <laughs> let's see if you're right. Please, can the lineup put themselves into the correct order? Yeah. 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 Nice. The correct order is Solomon Burke with 21 children. Holy shit. Ross Stewart has seven children. Ozzy Osbourne has five children. And Whitney Houston has one child from her rocky relationship with Bobby Brown. After one particularly drug addled night, Bobby remembers scooping poo out of Whitney Houston's bottom to ease her constipation. If that wasn't bad enough, it was splashed all over the newspapers, which oh. is put out specially. Mm. <laughs> so, maximum points to Bill's team there. Right, we end with next lines. Phil's team are in the lead, so you get to go first. Your time begins now. Anyone can fall in love? There I was, digging a hole out of the ground, sort of big, sort of big. That's not hard to do. That's the easy part, you must keep it going. Oh. Anyone can fall in love. It's an the East EastEnders one, isn't it? EastEnders yeah. theme tune. Yeah. You went out with um, Sharon from EastEnders. For two weeks. <laughs> How did he find out? It's on your bio. <laughs> Funny man, Ed Byrne, car phone warehouse, once up Sharon. <laughs> it's not right, but it's OK. I'm going to make it anyway. Correct, Whitney Houston. Nice. Naughty boys in nasty schools. Headmaster's breaking, breaking all, all the rules. rules. Correct, madness. Come on, Preston, have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> call me, call me any time. Uh, uh, your call may be recorded for staff training purposes. <laughs> it was just call me. Call me by Blondie. Oh, right. Ah. So, you've got 11 points at the end of that. Uh -huh. Five points is what you have at the moment. Oh, right. I think it could be done. Yeah, let's do it. We can beat them. Your time begins now. Her name was Lola. She was, she was a, a showgirl. Show Correct, Barry Manilow. Um, they call me Mr. Bombastic. Shaggy Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Samey Fantastic, but that'll yeah. do. Shaggy. Fair enough. You got me off the paper round, just sprang out of the air. Come oh. on, Five, you should know this. Oh. Yeah, I don't. Uh, uh, the best things come from nowhere. Yes. There I you can't go. believe you care. Is I, I, I say I love you, I don't think you care. Oh, well, I thought it was the second. Oh, no, that's sofa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I always get that one wrong. I have about two or three songs I can never remember. And I, I, ask, I write them on a piece of paper and stick them to my keyboard, and then they always get lost and I have to write them out. It's, it's terrible. Why don't you just take this on stage with you? <laughs> <laughs> Comedy props, I mean. It's got two it's good laughs. <laughs> okay. Still here. Sorry. Still here. <laughs> True. Well, For now, at least. Okay, well, oh, goodness, it's very close. Um, at the end of that, Phil's team have 10 points, Phil's team have 11 points. Oh. Good job, new Preston. Okay, Ed, could you come and sit with me, please? There you go. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> so, thanks to Phil, Preston, Ed, Bill, Fife, and Anne. This has been Nevermind the Buzzcocks, and that's the end of tonight's show. <laughs> Poor Preston. So I slowly begin to remember where that was from because I've, I'm pretty sure it was one of the Charlie Brooker things that uh, I saw that on previously. And it is interesting seeing that with context because before just seeing the walk off, it just seemed like Preston was butthurt and he was butthurt. But the host, Simon Amstel's name, massive fucking tool. Like you, you can disagree if you want, but like just the vibe I get from it, massive fucking tool like i i he was going at the guy for no reason yes he was overreacting but like in context i understand preston a lot more with it with seeing the whole thing in the context the host was just a massive tool 
I, 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 it, it's interesting. He like even before I realized something about the guy just rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know what it is, but like he, he just he just gives that tool vibe to me personally. He just comes off as a massive tool. So I, that was interesting, though, seeing the context and getting new perspective on that, because, yeah, I, I definitely get it. I definitely get it a lot more <laughs> after watching that. Well, that was my second reaction. Never mind the buzzcocks. Thank you, Stale, for using your points on this. That is going to do it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel, Christian Views, my Twitter. If you want to follow me, my Patreon. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, if you want to support me, all those things are in the video description down below. Uh, also in the video description is linked to the community Reddit, as well as, as well as the daily schedule, as well as the Twitch VODs channel. I can't speak English. Thank you to all my patrons currently named in the description, by the way, if you can't support me on my channel. For those that know you can be a patron on me, for as well as one dollar or one pound, and you get access to direction videos, as well as over your comments up to a day early, and you get your name in the video description as well. For all that being said, though, my name is Taffer Steen. It's been my reaction, my second reaction, never mind the buzzcocks, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.